the, I would say that the most interesting aspect of the red character is his mutation. Everything that happens before he drinks the skull juice or the, the uh, drug, um, he's a much more alive being. He's quite ferocious in his fighting style. He's very emotional, very feral, but tingling with life. And then, um, and I even thought about Bruce Lee uh, one shot because he, you know, Bruce was so alive in all his performances, and nobody moved like him. But there was one shot in Enter the Dragon where after he broke someone's neck, and the camera comes in really close, and he has that look in his eye, and I, and we I showed it to Panos, and we, we kind of went there. But that was right before he drinks the skull or tastes the skull juice, and after that. Hannes and I decided that we were going to make it more of a statuesque, monolithic, you know, Jason Voorhees, Frankenstein kind of performance. So I like that that arc to the to the character. That to me was the most interesting aspect of the of the character. To me, to me, uh, the character of Mandy is kind of like her character is sort of goes from sort of from a nerd and a person who likes to live in her imagination into this horrible event. She's sort of reborn as a goddess within the universe, and Red goes from being a normal man into eventually becoming a sort of like a demigod who performs her will on the, uh, on the mortal plane. <laughs>